Hi guys, it's Felix here, and today I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different from the kind of stuff I would usually bring you. So I live under my mum's roof, I'm completely unemployed, I don't study, I don't do anything. Uh, YouTube is pretty much all I have going for me, and obviously I'm not exactly earning much revenue from that. So I wanted to show you guys a few tips and tricks about how to run a YouTube channel successfully on the cheap. Running a YouTube channel without much money um, and without illegally pirating stuff here, there and everywhere is pretty damn hard. But I can tell you that I've pretty much gotten my entire Let's Play and Talk video set up uh, with around $350 worth of stuff. That includes my laptop. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you guys about the kind of stuff that I do for my own channels. Uh, and I really hope it helps. So, first things first, you're always going to need um, to have ideas down for videos and stuff. So, this is literally my desktop at the moment. It's kind of full of notes. I haven't got that many ideas down at the moment, but um, these are pretty much all um, notes that I have, um, you know, for skits or or talking or whatever. Um, that there is a list of stuff that I'm still yet to talk about in my videos, um, and that's all stuff that I want to. Um, start filming or whatever when I actually get my camera. So sometimes doing talking videos are a little bit harder to pull off, especially if you don't have a great camera like me, um, and you don't have much lighting. Um, I actually, in my room, the way I've got it set up is I have um, a blanket completely covering my window so that um, all my light is very predictable. Um, so even with my light turned on, the light comes up at the back and hits my head so my entire face is covered. What I have over here is a lamp without the lampshade on that my mum got me for like Christmas two years ago. Um, and so I turn that on, that's incredibly bright because there's no lampshade on it, and then I put it just on the side of my computer and it completely lights up my camera. And that's pretty much how I get um, predictable lighting and better lighting as opposed to just having it over here where only half my face is lit. Um, I try to center it as much as I can without making it glare into the camera like that. So as you can see at the bottom of that, like at the bottom of the corner, um, that starts to light it up because that's where it is with the camera. So that's pretty cheap and on the budget stuff that you can do. If you have a program that does a uh, chroma key or um, cutting out the colour of the background, um, I actually have two pieces of cardboard, don't mind the boobs, uh, two pieces of cardboard stuck to my door so that um, when I want to edit thumbnails that have pictures of me in them, I can just take a selfie uh, with whatever expression I want and it's ten times easier to edit myself into the picture. Um, and that's a piece of material that I pinned to my wall, but it doesn't work as well because there are creases in it and the colour is different pretty much everywhere. But that one's pretty much the same because I just stand over the crack. So sometimes it's pretty hard to find decent software on the internet. Um, I had a really hard time looking for stuff that I could actually edit with, um, but I eventually found Camstasia Studio. Um, and this is uh, version 8, I believe, and it's actually really good. It doesn't have chroma key, but it's really good for editing Let's Play videos and stuff like that if you don't have any, um, you know, if you don't really want any, you know, actual effects on your videos. It's got a whole bunch of transitions and call outs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can even put effects on your cursor, all that kind of stuff. So, um, so I use Fraps and Audacity re to record all of my Let's Plays, so um, I just turn the counter off and all that kind of stuff. And then I use Audacity just because it's um, fairly easy to cut out noise and stuff like that. Um, the microphone that I use is currently broken, but you can just see anyway. Um, it's literally a $6 headset that I got from Kmart. Um, it's currently broken. Uh, it's got like the thing hanging off and you can like see the wires there But um, yeah, only six dollars it came out and it pretty much does the job Um, you know, there's very rarely, you know, so much noise that it's actually an issue Um, and it's pretty uh, it's pretty easy to cut that uh, most of that noise out with noise removal Um, so that's fantastic and if, I mean, it depends on the computer, I sort of got lucky with this one, but um, the way I used to record, what, because I didn't have um, yeah, much in the way of equipment, was so the grey uh, plug there is the uh, microphone and the black one is the headphones. Um, so there are two separate sockets for that in my computer, which is an Alienware uh, 
M15X, I want to say, that I got um, at Cash Converters for $300 because the mousepad doesn't work. Um, so that was that was a really great bargain. Um, if you want to get a laptop on the cheap like that, Cash Converters um, and any sort of hot shops like that will usually provide them pretty good. Um, but so I, yep, I have my separate plugs in there. Um, what I used to do with my old computers and my old Let's Plays, uh, those were um, the old Minecraft videos and stuff like that, is I used my school tablet um, for playing the games and using Fraps, and then I used a separate computer altogether to record the audio, and then I just transfer it over, you know, using uh, the USB. But yeah, so that's also pretty easy. Um, yeah, nothing special here. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really really hope this video helped some of you um, and just remember that you absolutely can you know, run a YouTube channel on the cheap on a budget if you uh, have the passion to do it because I certainly did. Alright, thanks for watching guys, bye.